Planting for Food and Jobs This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Growing sorghum is as simple as growing maize. One of the most versatile members of the grass family, sorghum can be grown for grain, crafting, or for processing into sorghum syrup. Sorghum can withstand drought and flooding better than maize does. Agronomy of sorghum Step 1. Site Selection Sorghum is well adapted to many environments. It also grows well in different types of soil. However, it grows best in open areas with deep, well-drained, loamy soils. Sorghum grows best where climate is quite warm. Rainfall requirement is between 600 and 1,000 mm per annum. Step 2. Land Preparation the cropping history of the field detects the method of land preparations to be adopted. The following methods of land preparation should be adopted. Traditional land clearing techniques using hoes and cutlasses. Tractors and bullock where the farmer can afford their services. No till using herbicides. Step 3. Selection of Seed Variety Knowledge of the three types of sorghum is key to choosing best varieties to grow. Green sorghum, also called milo, produces tall panicles covered with small, round seeds in late summer. Sweet sorghum, also called cane sorghum, is grown for the sweet juice that are extracted from the tall stalks. Broom corn is a type of sorghum that holds its seeds on steady straws. Good quality seed variety is the basis for a good sorghum crop. Always purchase seed from certified seed sources or dealers. Here is a table of recommended sorghum varieties and their characteristics currently available for cultivation. Variety Mankaraga Local 29 Kapala Kadaga Framida Pan 606 Hybrid Most varieties require an average of 90 to 150 days of maturity. Highest yields are usually obtained from varieties that mature in 100 to 120 days. Step 4. Planting the important factors to consider when planting sorghum are times of planting and how to plant. Depending on maturity of the variety, planting should be done at a time when adequate and evenly distributed rainfall from planting to grain filling period is guaranteed. Planting periods of sorghum varieties for the various agroecologies. Sudan Savanna, Guinea Savanna, Transitional. Planting method. Dress seed with fungicides such as Apron Plus at 1 gram per kilogram seed to control shoot flies. Plant in lines using rope or sighting poles. Planting in rows at the correct spacing will give you the optimum population. Recommended planting spacing is as follows. Spacing between rows 75 cm for early, 75 cm for medium, 75 cm for late, within rows, 20 cm for early, 25 cm for medium, 30 cm for late. 
Step 5. Nutrient Management Fertilizer Application Apply 5 bags of MPK 2020-0 or 15-15-15 per hectare at planting or after germination for maximum benefit. For top dressing, apply 2.5 bags sulfate of ammonia late in August for full season sorghum. For early and medium maturing sorghum, split apply nitrogen at 3 and 8 weeks after planting. Fertilizer should be applied 6 to 8 cm from plant to avoid scorching young seedlings. It is also desirable to bury the fertilizer. Where local sources of compost, organic waste or animal manure is available, apply 7 to 10 tons to meet the nutrient demand of the crop. Step 6. Weed Control Weed control in sorghum can be achieved through good land preparation, manual weeding, use of pre-emergency herbicides, rotation with trap crops such as cotton, groundnut or soybean. Step 7. Insect Pest Control The main insect pests of sorghum are stem borers, spittle bugs, shoot fly, and mage. Sorghum is affected by a number of diseases that prevent farmers from getting optimum yields. The main disease of sorghum in Ghana are grain mold, zonate leaf spot, lung smart, head smart, and sooty stripe. Step 7. Harvesting. Harvest grains as soon as they reach physiological maturity. After harvesting, dry heads properly to about 10% moisture content. Harvested heads can be stored or platforms for periods over 12 months before threshing. After threshing, the seed should be treated to control weevils. Grains may be stored in jute sacks or poly sacks. Mm -hmm.